It's uh, 2 a.m. on a Thursday morning. Airplane departure time is 7.30 p.m. for uh, Vegas. And I was trying to check in online, Air Canada. For some reason, my booking reference number changed. I was an email about it. So I'm, I'm trying to check online and I'm entering the old booking reference number and it's giving me an error and I have no idea what's going on. So I downloaded the Air Canada app and entered in the booking number there to check in using mobile booking. It says your booking reference number has been changed to this, this completely different number. What if I didn't download this mobile app and didn't check myself that makes no sense <sighs> air canada it better be a good flight there that's for sure so even with the correct booking number i can't book in i'll have to get to the airport even earlier just to make sure i can check in and make sure everything's all good <sighs> this could be interesting finish packing up gear in that bag sort of a puffy jacket just in case the desert nights get cold and that's the washroom stuff gotta bring out my carry-on and i start packing that for my clothes and stuff all right my backpack is packed. Laptop, chargers, battery packs in here, uh, cables, USB cables, and my camera's not going there as well. That is my suitcase, all packed. So, t shirts, socks, underwears under that, and pants. And uh, I'll be wearing my jacket. Oh, two push and stuff all there. So, I am ready, I believe. There's a CVS convenience store next to the hotel I'm staying at. It has everything. If I miss something, I can buy stuff from there. This train is for YVR Airport. I just got off the SkyTrain. My dad gave me a ride to the SkyTrain station. That helped a lot. I'm gonna go and check in and then go to customs. Check in. I just golfed down a Tim Horton sandwich. Oh, ate that way too fast. I am in the waiting area to board. My gate number is E78. This is my first time through border security at the airport in Vancouver. It was pretty quick. There was not many people. I tried to use the check-in automated machines and I got stuck at where it's asking about check-in baggage. It's like including cabin baggage as well. And that confused the heck out I went straight to the uh, check-in attendant instead, which is actually better because she upgraded my seat. I got a middle seat automatically and I was like, yeah, I definitely want an aisle seat. Easier access to the aisle, easier access to the washroom. Perfect. Thank you to that lady at the Air Canada. My dad dropped me off SkyTrain. Travel from my place to Vancouver Airport, that's 30 minutes. Check-in plus clearing customs was about 30 minutes or so. I think what slows people down is like people getting confused, don't know what they're doing when they're going through customs or security checks and all that stuff. Lane that I'm going on is not full from what I can tell. It's just people waiting on the seats. Got about an hour and 30 minutes, so let's go explore. I'm gonna explore the other side. Gates uh, 83, 89? No, well, the other side, wherever the gates are on that side is. I don't know. Hurricane Gates. Hurricane Gates. Definitely got busier. We are boarding now. Zone one first, I'm in zone three. I am in Las Vegas. Yes, just landed looking for a shuttle right now. Flight was good. I met this couple, super cool. I talked to the wife for the whole entire time. That was cool. I didn't get many shots of the Las Vegas airport because I wanted to get to my hotel as quick as possible. But when I come back going to Vancouver, I'll take some shots for you guys. In the shuttle, note to self, when you download a PDF, make sure it opens on your phone because I have the PDF voucher downloaded on my phone in my files. I try opening it and then I click open with default application and kept the default as always, but that didn't work because that thing didn't open and somehow the PDF got corrupted. So make sure you have backup. Yeah, so I had to like wait and pop the SIM card in and get my data working, which it did, and then log in and get my itinerary up and then get the confirmation that I paid for the shuttle. I took longer than I expected. 
Double check things, measure twice, cut once. This is our double queen room. So wash it, let's go wash it first. Towels. Uh, yeah. And big mirror, super big mirror. Sink. <laughs> Soap and shampoo. Smaller makeup mirror. Toilet. Clean toilet, that's what you need. Definitely need a clean toilet. Um, walk-in shower, a uh, big walk-in shower with one of those like rain dripping shower heads. Oh, so cool. Okay. Enough for three people, four people. And then closet. Closet, safe. I'm sad there's no slippers. I brought my own slippers. Another mirror. One queen. Second queen. And then here's the view from this hotel room. Platinum's across the street. Uh, desk. Another desk. Big screen television. A semi big screen television. Mirror. Chair in here as well. Here is the corner view. There you go. Pretty big, if you ask me. That's all expensive though. Hotel fees plus the resort fee. Alarm clock, phone, wallpaper. First things first, every time you get to a place, Wi Fi. My resource fees pay for Wi Fi. Connect to Caesars Resorts. Ah, Caesars. Open hotel guest, enter your room number, enter last name of the registered guest, accept terms and condition, and then press connect me. These are the hallways. That's our hotel we're staying in. Look how big that thing is compared to that monorail. That thing's huge! Tesla uh, supercharger. Got a whole whack of them. Yo, those are big balls. Right? They're big balls, right? Big balls? Yeah, big balls, yeah. Do you like big balls? <laughs> Maxis! <laughs> In and out burgers. Burgers. Thank you, thank you. Uh, 12 a.m. Holy crap. Or in and out burger? Uh, Shake Shack? Shake Shack, yeah. I prefer Shake Shack. Really? Yeah. Why? The bread is more soft. Oh, okay. How about the um, uh, shake? They're almost same. Almost same? So this one is really cheap, so I like it more. The Shake Shack is too expensive. You're right. And really small. Yes, number 91. In Vancouver, I usually walk with my head looking down because I've seen everything in Vancouver. But in Las Vegas, my head's up the whole entire time because everything's bright and distracting. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna run into a pole. I'm absolutely sure of that. I wish I could record that, but I won't be filming myself running into a pole. Sorry. Look up my other channels, you know, better videos. Don't watch my vlogs. Why are you, why are you watching my vlogs? It's boring. I'm just eating. There's palm trees here. Look at the French. I'm on a sugar diet and that's what I see. First thing I get here. 24 hour of Starbucks. What the French? Kitchen. Gordon Ramsay. I'm uh, filming a camera in an elevator with another camera. This is crazy on camera too. This is the pedestrian bridge. Space. CBS. CBS. 
That's why I come to Vegas to shop for toothbrushes. It's 24 7. Are you here all night? Oh, bro, what? That's easy, man. Basically, we gotta make sure we face everything, make it look nice for you, restock. Definitely the land of. The land of material things. FYI to everybody, Walgreens is cheaper than CVS. Look how big that intersection is. Holy crap. I wish I had that TV at home. That'd be amazing. Are those real palm trees? I think those are real palm trees. It's almost 2 a.m. Las Vegas does not close for business. So all the lights outside, it's like daylight outside. Just the amount of neon lights and like big screens, the strip is so bright outside. Like you see it in movies, you see it in television shows, but you cannot imagine how nuts it is to actually come here. Dancing place, holy crap, it's so nice. Look, it's a rock. Look how big this thing is. Look at that. This is a man made freaking lake. Oh, she's a uh, man made pond, whatever. <laughs> she says the fountain starts every day from 3 p.m. I remember after 3 p.m. every 30 minutes. After 3 p.m. every 30 minutes. Is that true? I don't know if that's true. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I'm on the fountain right now. Look at this thing, it's insane. It's bigger than my head. What? <laughs> These barricades are to block cars, trucks, or whatever vehicles from running over pedestrians. I just realized that. What these are for. Because they're not blocking people across the street. You can just jaywalk like this easily. But they're super thick, so they're blocking cars. Super dry straw is here. I wonder if it's dry inside. 